Okay, everybody, the next thing we're going to look at is the pancreas. And this, most of our pancreas models have lots of other things connected to them, but the stomach would be right here. Okay, so food's going to come through the stomach, exit through the duodenum, which is right here, travel through the duodenum, and then into the rest of the small intestine. This is the pancreas. So you can see the pancreas sits sort of underneath the stomach. The head of the pancreas, which is this larger portion here, is going to kind of be cradled in the um, duodenum here. This is called the tail. Excuse me. This is the tail of the pancreas, and this would be the body right here in the middle. You can see lots of vessels, and we'll go over those in a second. This white line running through the middle of the pancreas is representing what's called the pancreatic duct, the main pancreatic duct. It's going to drain all of your pancreatic juices from the pancreas and drain them down here into the duodenum. So you can see right here where that main pancreatic duct exits right here. Now you see this little green line next to it. That's actually the common bile duct coming from the gallbladder, which is here. So here's the gallbladder. Here's the cystic duct, because it comes out of the gallbladder. Here's the hepatic duct, the green one, coming from the liver. They're going to meet up to form that common bile duct that we saw on the liver. They're going to go behind the head of the pancreas and then peek out through the pancreas, combining with the pancreatic juices coming from this main pancreatic duct and empty through the duodenal papilla into the duodenum. Now you also have a small little duct here, an extra one to drain the pancreas, the head, because the head is so wide. This is the accessory pancreatic duct, and that has its own exit into the duodenum right there. So this is duodenum, gallbladder, cystic duct, hepatic duct, common bile duct, main pancreatic duct, accessory pancreatic duct, head of the pancreas, body of the pancreas, tail of the pancreas. Now this is the spleen, and here you can see lots of blood vessels. This one right here going to the spleen is called splenic, and you'll have a vein as well, splenic vein. Splenic vein is actually part of the hepatic portal system, and we'll see that when we flip this model over. This right here is actually where the vessel has been cut from the abdominal aorta. And this is our first unpaired branch off of the abdominal aorta that we're going to look at. There are three of them. We'll talk about the other two next time with the intestine. But this one is called celiac trunk comes directly off the abdominal aorta, first unpaired branch, and that'll be important for blood tracing as well. On the back, we can also see the splenic artery, the splenic vein, and the common bile duct here. Now, off the celiac trunk, you have three branches. We've already seen one of those on the stomach, and that was left gastric. Splenic is another. You can see it comes directly off of that trunk. So here's splenic artery. And then the other artery coming off of this celiac trunk, there are three, splenic, left gastric, and then this one is common bile duct. Now left gastric is not on this model, but we'll see it on another one in a second. So you have three branches from celiac trunk, which is the first branch off of the abdominal aorta, unpaired branch. So this is common hepatic. Now this one right here is the proper hepatic, and we've seen that one already when we looked at the liver. So that's proper hepatic, which is going to branch into right and left hep hepatic artery. Right behind proper hepatic is going to be the hepatic portal vein. Remember we had common bile duct, proper hepatic artery, and hepatic portal vein right next to each other, and you can see those again. This branch right here, going down and around, is called gastroduodenal. They've cut portion of it off, but that's what this one is here. Now off of gastroduodenal, when you get further down, you're going to have that 
right gastro-omental artery. You'll have left gastro-omental artery coming off of splenic, and then you'll feed the entire artery, the entire stomach. This right here is that right gastric. So left gastric will come up like this and around. Right gastric will come off here, and then they'll come together in that lesser curvature of the stomach. If we flip this over, we can see the hepatic portal system. Okay, so here's the duodenum. Here's the head of the pancreas, the body of the pancreas, the tail of the pancreas. Now the hepatic portal system drains into the hepatic portal vein, which then goes into the liver, so it can be filtered. Splenic vein is part of that, so here's splenic vein. And it's going to meet up with another vein here called inferior mesenteric vein. We'll talk about me inferior mesenteric artery later. And then inferior mesenteric vein and splenic vein will come together and meet up with this big vein called superior mesenteric vein. This is superior mesenteric artery. Superior mesenteric vein and splenic vein come together and form the hepatic portal vein. All right, guys, we're just looking at a bigger model of the same thing that we looked at already. So here's the pancreas. Okay, here's the duodenum. Main pancreatic duct, accessory pancreatic duct. Here's your common bile duct. Head, body, tail of the pancreas. Here's the spleen right here. This is a kidney, an adrenal gland, and an adrenal artery and vein. We'll talk more about those later. Another kidney, adrenal gland, adrenal arteries, and vein. If we look at the vessels, let's look at them from the top. Okay, imagine that this stick is your aorta. That makes this the celiac trunk coming right off the aorta. Okay, you can see that from the back. And it'll give rise to three branches. One is this little wire here. That's left gastric. The second is the splenic artery. And the third is the common hepatic artery. So you can see that right here. Now remember earlier in the semester I said if it's common, that means it's going to split. Just like we had common palmar digital arteries split into proper, the common hepatic artery splits into proper hepatic artery, which is going to go to the liver, gastroduodenal artery, which is going to go down and around the duodenum, and then you'll also have right gastric artery coming off of here, which isn't really shown, but that'll come off of common hepatic as well. And then the rest of the common hepatic artery after the two branches is called proper. So this would be proper hepatic artery here. You can see in the duodenum the duodenal papilla where your common bile duct and main pancreatic duct meet up and dump into the duodenum and here's your accessory pancreatic duct opening. These two large vessels here are superior mesenteric artery and superior mesenteric vein. If we turn this over, again we can see superior mesenteric artery and vein here. Here is your splenic vein, and remember I said the splenic vein comes up. We'll meet up with inferior mesenteric vein, which would be coming up this way, and that would meet up with the superior mesenteric vein to form the hepatic portal vein. This is the common bile duct. So again, you can see your triad structure, hepatic portal vein, common bile duct, common our proper hepatic artery here. Okay, so head, body, tail of the pancreas, main pancreatic duct, accessory pancreatic duct, common bile duct, duodenal papilla, superior mesenteric artery and vein, celiac trunk, splenic artery, splenic vein, celiac trunk, I think I already said that one, left gastric artery, common hepatic artery, proper hepatic artery after it gives off gastroduodenal and right gastric, right gastric is not on here, hepatic portal vein,
common bile duct. And you can see splenic vein well on this side as well. These are kidneys, renal arteries, and veins.